Is the Lowland League one of the most intriguing leagues in Scotland? Look at that. Even down to sort of Stirling Uni there in seventh. They're on 27 points. And then you look at Rangers up the top there on 34. Civil Service Strollers. Look at that. What a name that is. You've got Spartans who are always up there. Trenent who got promoted last year from the East of Scotland League to this league. They're doing really well. East Kilbride. They're always up there. And look at that open goal, Broom Hill. Um, as we know, they're having a pretty good season too. I think they lost their last game. Um, however, However, yeah, on the whole, they are having a good season. I don't know why people of the Lowland League, Bonessa, always have highlighted. I said this the other time as well. Um, but even if we come down low, it's strange that there's 19 teams in this league. Yeah, there's um, sort of still conversations to be had about that. But look, it's Gretna, who are in 14th today, is the away team here against Open Goal Broomhill at Broadwood Stadium. We've been here a few times this season. Hopefully, uh, we can actually finally get Slaney on the video maybe today. Um, but look at that. Look, you can see him. Uh, the goal's over there. Should be a good video, this one. Please hit a like button. Please subscribe if you're new. And let's go and watch some cracking Lowland League football. I'm James Ritchie, I'm the stadium announcer for Broom Hill. And I've never been up this high before, I don't think, in uh, in Broadwood Stadium. Uh -huh. This is where it all happens, right? You've got the strobe lights yeah, switch strobe behind lights, you. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah, we've got a good vantage point. It's a pretty, pretty nifty gig. Like, What's it like back. to be involved then with Open Goal Broom Hill? It's an exciting time for the club. Oh, it's brilliant. It's, I've been to every game home and away, so to support them and see them grow as a team is pretty special. Like, it's good. And we were talking off camera earlier about the Bucky game up in the Highlands in the Scottish Cup that must have been one of the sort of best away trips you've been on there ah that was brilliant I went up and George the uh, general manager offered me to go up and stay with the team in the hotel and stuff like that so that was a really good experience a good laugh and uh, aye the Bucky boys are wild up there <laughs> they are aren't they yeah and uh, playing Gretna tonight what are your thoughts going into this game well, I think after the defeat on Saturday they'll be home they've got a chance to turn it around pretty quickly so Hopefully three points a night, yeah. So I'm Craig and I run Terrace Trails on Twitter. <laughs> and we were just talking for ages there off camera about Scottish football in general. How have That's you found right. the Lowland League this year? The best league in Scotland in my opinion. I think it's been the most competitive, the most entertaining. There's no, it's not like a two horse league like the SPL. I think there's been a lot for everyone to enjoy, like, you know, for all the clubs and stuff. So I think it's been absolutely brilliant so far. And so in the intro to this video, I looked at the league table and showed how tight it was sort of between yeah. the top seven teams. Yeah. Who are you putting your money on? If you had a tenner right now and you had to put it on a winner, who are you going for? I mean, personally, I'd love the strollers to do it, but taking that off, I mean, I, I, I fancied East Kilbride. For you, is there any managers that you've worked with that you take bits from? Maybe not Decanio? No, no, definitely <laughs> Decanio. Definitely De Canio. Great strike, and we are almost 10 minutes in here, and it's cold, and my gloves are on, but remember to follow uh, Open Goal Broomhill, all their socials, and Mozza as well on comms today. The corner flag's fallen over. The Lino's putting it back in. That is very non-league, look at that. Oh, is it going to fall over again? That's it, it's still in. Oh, is it to the back post? The corner flag's down again. <laughs> in swinger. Goalkeeping error and Gretna have a surprise lead. The team from lower mid table, all the way from the borders. We've been there before, Raydale Park. Oh, what a 
what a save. There we go, half time, open goal room hill, nil, Gretna, one. No subs, do you reckon there should have maybe been a change? What were your thoughts on the first half? I'd say maybe changing six there in the next time, to be honest. You might see Cal Wilson come on. Yep. He's, been, he's been pretty good this season. Dangerous free kick for Gretna right at the really start good. second half. Oh. I can't clear their lines. Oh. Oh. As you would have just seen, it's 1-1 one, one now, and it's been a bit of a strange game. Um, open goal room would have probably been the better side in the second half, um, and it made a bit of pressure play now. A bit of a scrappy goal um, at the back post there, but how rare is that? It's been two goals in this game, and I've captured them both on camera. When was the last time that happened? I can't believe it. I think Sai's happy with the performance so far from Broomhill. Fair play to Gretna. I mean, we've seen them play a few times on the channel. Um, they're in a tough position where they are geographically, obviously, to pick up players and stuff. And they're actually having an OK season this season. They've been on a good run of games. Um, but they picked up a few, a few big points a few months ago. But they're playing really, really well today. Credit to them for that. And they've got a corner here. Oof. As you would have been able to see once or twice in this video, or here rather, the wind was actually quite bad at this game. And it was during this clip here, but essentially all I'm saying is it is currently 2-1 to open goal Broomhill. The goal came from Martin Rennie, who came off the bench. Good substitution from Cy Ferry to bring him on. It was actually his debut. He's on loan from Montrose, literally signed that day or the day before. literally stood and slipped over and what a strike he's had a great game in number nine injury time corner i thought open goal broom hill how has the season gone for you obviously you were gonna start playing again you did play a few games i played no i played i, I came on one of the games uh what I, what I'm feeling, obviously, I think it was I think I've seen about it was about ten years ago when I last played here. Um, came my family left. I was embarrassed, and so f ten year on, obviously, so I gave me the opportunity to come on and play. Yeah. Um, and what a buzz it was! But to keep that, up, I think I had a wee problem with my knee. Um, I had just to, the level of these boys are at fitness yeah. levels is incredible, and that intensity. So to get that wee opportunity, um, I still keep plodding away. But listen, it's more for the the boys to go there and do it. Um, and, It'd be excellent. And I see you usually on match days, uh, obviously setting everything up for the boys uh, pre-game. Is that your sort of role here? That's what, my wee bit on match days. Yeah. I, that's the bit I get. I can't sleep at night thinking about setting oh, really? the possession <laughs> box up. Honest to God, I've been doing this now since the start of the season. The possession yeah. box, same pitch every week, and still don't know the sizes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, listen, that's my wee bit. You, that, that just gets me possession box just to get the boys going. Um, but listen, they don't need that. They're, they're ready to go in match day anyway. What do you think, by the way? What do you think of this? We timbling number. <laughs> Love it, mate. It's looking good. It's looking good with the uh, open goal. Well, well, Jolly's, we, we thought we played well in the first half. The boys, we kept it well, but we just had to have many a threat, with many crosses, many shots. Yeah. So that's exactly what um, the gaffer asked him at half time today. Um, just to sort of be, have a bit more purpose in the final third, to be a bit more aggressive in our attacking play. As I said, Asking for more crossing shots, that's exactly what we've done. I think we've got two, two goals came for the crosses in the second half. Um, boys reacted great for half time. Got herself in the lead, and then obviously Cookie it, oh, slips in the ball, but listen, he was excellent all night, yeah. and that can happen to anybody. Um, so, and then they go through and score, and then just sort of plodding away to try and get the winner. But 
Oh, man, it's tough. Fantastic to finally get Slaney on. I know I've had a lot of comments and Instagram messages and tweets and stuff to finally get him on. So I know Sai's been on a couple of the times when I've seen them play. So fantastic to finally get Slaney on to hear if maybe he might uh, come back into the playing fold eventually as well. Um, but also just good to get his thoughts on the game there. The game itself um, was a really kind of scrappy game in a way. Um, but I think I've seen Open Goal Broom Hill play four times this season. I think it was a 3-0, a 3-2, a 3-1 and a 2-all. You genuinely don't get boring games in the Lowland League. It's a great league and if you haven't watched much Lowland League football before then I really really recommend you do so. Especially at clubs like Open Gold Broomhill. Um, you usually get a few big names there. I spoke to Kevin Kyle there before. Um, I've seen Andy Halliday and Charlie Mulgrew there so um, you might get some of their like bigger podcast guests who often come and watch them play too but um, I also really enjoy um, the access they give me. They've been so good with me have Open Gold Broomhill this season as of all the sort of non-league clubs within Scotland. Um, it's always good to go along, chat to people like Mozo who was on the comms or Conroy who does the um, Instagram and tweets and um, the live tweets that you'll see during the game and stuff so as the winter's rolling around it's getting harder for him getting cold thumbs tweeting out the scores and stuff um, so yeah they're a really good set up club um, I hope they do well this season and Gretna fantastic to see them get a draw yesterday um, like I said in the video I've seen them play once or twice before and um, they've struggled in the games that I've seen them play against Kelty um, I think they lost 7-0 that night I think I saw them lose against East Kilbride as well but they've had an okay season this season considering where they finished last year um, good to see them improving slightly and moving up the table um, all the best to the people at Gretna I'll come back for another game soon I'm sure please do hit that like button please do subscribe if you're new a huge huge thank you for all the support as ever um, yeah just wrapping this one up I actually probably most nervous to like go and watch Open Gold Broom Hill when I first saw them play this season. Um, just meeting people like Slaney and Cy Ferry, they're such big names within YouTube. And I know you may look at my channel and think I've got the plaque up there and stuff, but this time last year I was on like 30K subs. So I wanna thank you guys so much for all the support. I still get nervous sometimes when I interview people, especially people like Slaney who have interviewed so many big names and stuff like that as well. So um, yeah, again, I really, really appreciate the support. Thank you so, so much. Get, the, uh, get some comments in the comments section below of clubs you'd like to see me cover next um, I do have some big videos planned I want to go abroad as well before the end of the year too um, I want to do some more videos in different countries so again if you've got any suggestions drop it in the comment section below thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one